We're back in the baby room. The baby it's a room. Bigger bear. Oh my god, I love that its eyes are lopsided. That's perfect. It's also missing an arm. I love it. Yeah, and it looks like its stomach has been gouged out. It happens. Yeah, it does. We gotta uh, fix our little guy. I already forget where I'm. But okay. Let's go see what's out here really quick. I oh, think. I can't do that. Never mind. Hmm. Okay, so the only. Yeah, we, I have one of those in my doctor's office, too. So. <laughs> He's here. He sure does look like an uh, anime that villain. Was locked. Tunnel 2. Uh, she said Shin earlier, and I just didn't oh, put two and two together that Shin was the name that she called during the crane fight, too. Yeah, yeah, no. Really freaky. How old? Us. Well, that's colored really nicely. His portrait. Yeah. I like the usage of purples. Purpley blues, whatever it is. Oh, they're back. Nom, 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 nom. Sorry, I ate it. You ate it? Yeah. You Sorry. Are you sure? Nom, nom, nom. Sorry. Can't eat that one. You don't know what it is. Watch me. Please stop putting unidentified objects in your mouth. No. I'm begging you. Um, after that one dies, can you look at something for me? I said that so you don't go running straight out of the room. What do you want me to look at? Uh, turn to your left. Yeah, whatever that thing is, can you look at it? Is it Piggy? Yeah, I looked at it. You We're did? not paying attention, probably. I guess not. It's a Piggy. It's a Piggy. Why is the music still playing? Maybe there's more jellies. What? But wait, there's more. Okay. Okay, we're good. Oh, that's why he said this room's freaky. I would also <laughs> think this. Who said this room is freaky? Seto. He did? It was labeled on the map. Are you paying attention, like, at all? <laughs> I, I said- I said fr really freaky. No, I was thinking about how I had to pee. I'm sorry. This happened, like, two seconds ago after you, you already came back. Oh, really? Yes. Oh, then I have no idea. Sorry. <laughs> oh, there's writing on the wall. Yeah, I'm trying to. <laughs> I would love to look at anything. Oh. oh my god. They're just gonna start playing ping pong with you. I- excuse me? Okay. Oh, they lined up for you. Was. I believe you just got a bunch of candy. Unless you really ate all of it. I ate all of them except for one. Sorry. <laughs> okay. Hmm. It's a fun thing to see on the wall of a hospital. Hmm. Like area. I hate fighting these things. Yeah. I kind of hate that they're even here. Thematically, it doesn't make much sense, no. No. Okay, let me eat some candy. I think, uh... I mean, I'll probably talk about this more during the credits, like, my overall impressions of the game, but one of the biggest faults, I think, is... It, it's gotta commit more to its enemy types. Well, like, it could probably benefit from a few more, too. Like, not that I blame them. I'm sure they were working on a budget, but... Just something more, like specific to this area would have been cool, yes. So there's that. Is there anything else in here? Yeah, I mean, the jellyfish don't bother me because they've always felt kind of generic. Yeah, they're just ghosts. That's a lot of sy syringes. But, like, you know, the automatons felt specific to, like, 
Ooh, I really don't like that. X-rays always freak me out a bit, but there's something really weird about the way that that skull is. Maybe it's because anime heads don't make anatomical sense. So yeah, that's the other area. Anyway, yeah, like, you know, those, those plant ladies felt like... Down they go. They felt like they would have been exclusive to that hotel, and the automatons felt like they would be exclusive to that area, like, around where you found that big old pile of them. Kids make sense in here. Yeah, kids do make sense in here. They very much do. Those guys also feel pretty generic. Even though I suppose maybe I should associate them with the- Where were they? Were these guys in the theme park, or was it just the crows? Uh, the crows, the dogs were there. I think they were at one point. I don't remember. Uh, we can make this fit. There, my point is, they could have put a little bit more thought into it. Not game ruining, but it's the little touches and the little considerations that make me really appreciate video games, usually. You're so good at spatial reasoning, babe. Ah, uh, yes, the simple task of moving one item over. Oh, it's that, it's that thing again, that friend that we that saw. That big blob? Yeah. What is it supposed to be? I'm not sure. Ooh. Like, it looks like a sea creature to me. Strange blue drink. Ooh. Delicious. No, I would like to drink it. Thank you. Hey, Sai, are these the strange medicines that they made you drink? Yeah, are they? So I wasn't complained about them thus far. No. That's the TV that they wheel in and let you watch old Christmas specials on. Bunny. <laughs> They're very pixelated textures. Yeah. Me too. <laughs> you too? Yeah. Okay, I'm pretty sure I got the item that was in here. Yeah, what the heck was that? That was me moving away from the bunny and it not- no Oh, it's another bunny. I thought it was blood. Blood bunny. Blood bunny? I don't know. Wow, a nearly identical looking room. Oh, this one has a little table. Yeah, a little food tray. Is there anything in here? They usually have those at hospitals, don't they? I don't know, you're the one between the both of us who has spent more time in a hospital than I have. Yeah, I unfortunately have. Um, I didn't have, like, a tray that swung over my bed, at least when I was hospitalized for, like, a couple months when I was a child. Um, it was, like, a tray that sat aside the bed. I'm pretty sure it was too high for me, too. I remember struggling to eat. What a picture! Box. I'm just trying to see if there's any items. Any fireflies? Uh, no. Just disarray. Check the corner one last time. Can you all look at the bottom of that curtain for me, too? From the other side? Okay. Just splotches. I thought they were like handprints or something, but that would be weird. <laughs> I like that. It's a cute little design. Whoever did that one, props. Oh, cool. He's labeling them in. Weird smell. Yeah, that's hospital. Sorry. Yep. That weird hospital smell. So I can't really explain this, or I guess I could if I really tried. Um, the sensibilities of this little clinic 
pediatrician's office, whatever you want to call it. They're kind of western. At least in the decorations. And the art. They don't strike that way to me. They don't? No. Um... good I think they're going for like a questionable time in the early or mid 1900s where a lot of this took place okay and a chunk of that time in Japan some stuff does like some art stuff does kind of look more western just because of the era yeah yep Something's here. Ooh. Okay. It doesn't strike me that way, though. Alright. When I said that, I didn't mean this place should be in America or something. Oh, yeah, I know. I was just saying. I was just explaining the way that, like... Art influence. Yeah. It tracks... I'm just thinking once again of that part in Higurashi when they go to go get the KFC doll in the dump. <laughs> you know, standard after school activities. That was in the show by era anyway. Go wrestle Colonel Sanders out of the dumpster. Rena thought it was cute. I Would mean, you say no to her? I mean, Colonel Sanders is... I mean, his smile is cute. I think, honestly, like, hearing how KFC came- like, KFC's, like, cultural cornerstone in Japan is one of the funniest and interesting, like, things that I know. When does Higurashi take place again? It's in the 80s, right? Yes. Uh, I believe 1983 or 1984. Yeah, the year is very significant. It is. It's repeated very frequently. But it's been a very long time since I've watched, read, or played Higurashi. And when it's said, it's said in Japanese, so... I don't even, like, have the audio memory of it. Well, yeah, also the way that dates are said in Japanese. That's why, I was, that's why it's, like, burned into my brain. I'm like, that's the Showa era. Because <laughs> you hear Rika say it, like, so much. Uh, is the era denoted by who's in rule, or...? Um, whoever the emperor is at the time. Okay, I thought so. Okay, what? What is here? Okay, that's... Okay, I don't actually really need either of these items. That's the good news. So I'm gonna see if there's... I might head back to the little bonfire. Yeah, you might as well. You don't want to lose all this stuff. What's that symbol I keep seeing on the wall? Hmm? That one right there. I don't know. Is that, like, anything significant? I don't think so. It kind of vaguely reminds... <gasps> it vaguely reminds me of, like, um... I don't know if you did this as a kid. Um... Because there's, the, there's a lot of those, like, cutouts of people. <gasps> Frog. Wow. Frog, if you're watching. It's you and Frog. We're hanging out. Like good pals do. This one's weird. Was frog is not watching this, but I'm going to say I love you, Frog, anyway. Frog, if you're out there. Frog, if you're <laughs> out there, I love you. I'm sending my love to you. Flinge. Um, but, like, when you... Have you ever done a thing where, like, you, like, stack a bunch of circles as a kid and... You cut into them with like triangles and then. You mean like snowflake making? Yeah. Yeah. Usually for class. I'm not making the class. Oh, uh, next time you go into that room, can you look at the door? Okay. It looked like there might have been bloody handprints on there. That's fun. Let me out! <laughs> the opposite of let me in! I hope I'm not getting sick. I mean, there was writing on the wall of them being scared, so... Pen. Wow. Whenever my fingers brush against the name engraved on the side, I remember her smile. 
You always need a pen, so this isn't another piece of clutter, she told me when she gave it to me. And it's true. I've never stopped using it. Whether I'm writing the truth or otherwise. Perhaps the end will come while I'm in the middle of writing. I'll be lucky to leave something behind, but... That doesn't even matter to me anymore. I only regret not writing down more of what you said to me. That's sad. That is sad. Do people normally engrave their names into pens? Um, it's a thing that some people do for people. Ah, we meet again. For people? That, I worded that weird. Like, I mean, like, if... It's not uncommon, no. It's a present? Yeah, some people will do that. Okay. Like, if... if it's for someone like that you know that would that needs a pen often or like uses one often sometimes people will do that as like a thing i'd assume they'd be reusable then right yeah they're usually like fancy pens okay i wouldn't mind a fancy pen like that maybe not with my name engraved into it you do need a good pen that is a very quality of life improvement I wanted a fancy pen and then I tragically got stabbed in the hand by my sister's fancy pen and now I hate them. Were you okay? Yeah, yeah. She just had one of those fancy fountain pens, but like, she had it in the box of... Oh, all you of... reached into it yeah. and stabbed yourself. Okay, I thought like you two were assaulting each other as you did when you were children and she stabbed <laughs> you with a pen. No. Like, dude, that's a little intense, even for you guys. Like, you're you're roughhousers by nature, but not that bad, I don't think. No. It does remind me of the time one of my sisters broke the other sister's pinky by complete accident. <laughs> it was very funny. Not, not the worst finger to break. It was not that funny, actually. No, I'd imagine it wasn't. But again, not the worst finger to break. I wasn't involved, so I thought it was. <laughs> no, that's not true. Uh, you silly billies. Uh, Always with oh, your yeah. Back. Yeah. You were right. Cool. No, thank Love you. Love it. This place is fun. No wonder Seto was like, this is creepy. Yeah, I'd be pretty creeped uh, out. You made a note about this, what did you say? I don't know. Pretty sure that's just the, th like, system that goes off with the fire alarm. Maybe. Um, I think we went in the first three. No. Excuse if there's ever, like, a panel on the wall or something, I, I usually tend to assume it's something to do with electric. We went in the first four. The one thing that does suck about this flashlight is that the color around you is completely washed out by it. Yeah, that's probably why they expected me to carry the other one, but I prefer in space. Inventory space. Also, like, I just in general would miss things repeatedly if I just... It would have been smarter to make it a toggle. Like, make it an additional lens that goes over your yeah. old flashlight. Game design's fun. Yeah, they're like clipping into each other. You guys are okay? They're rehearsing. Don't be mean. I can't see. They don't have it perfect yet, but they'll get it. I love when I walk too far away. <laughs> there you go. See? I told you they'd get it. They got the space worked out. Back look. Hell yeah. Remember to give your fellow dancers ample space to move their arms and legs, otherwise they might just deck you in the face during your routine. Or in the case of ballet, maybe even kick you in the face. I can't. Oh my god. Did I ever tell you that I attended ballet classes? Yes, you did. Okay. I don't remember for how long. A week. I only remember this because I was like, you want to watch Princess Tutu and you're like... Hey. Oh, my ballet trauma. I it's mean, not trauma. <laughs> you were just like, I tried ballet once. I was like, huh, how'd it go? And you were like, bad. bad. <laughs> and I was like, okay, do you want to watch this though? <laughs> Princess Tutu is great. I was just thinking about it last night. I wanted to finish rewatching it. I need to. F we need to rewatch it, and then I need to 
I'm gonna write a letter to the president. I'm still unsure whether that was just a group hallucination because we were watching yeah, it very late. Yeah, me, you, Emily, and Amanda all hallucinated the character saying the same exact ridiculous and completely out of place line. Mm -hmm. I gotta watch it with a friend too, so I'm gonna see if they wanna watch the English dub or the Japanese oh, dub. I remember the part. You just need to tell me when it happens and we can just check the specific episode anyway. Yeah. We we could have sworn we heard a character oh, shoot. Like the character goes to his desk after like a significant plot event occurs and he starts writing a letter and he goes, I'm gonna write a letter to the president. And uh, we were watching, we usually, me and Bun usually watch the original Japanese dub of things with subtitles because we, we're not like elitist about it, but we do think it's better in a lot of ways. Like we, we do enjoy the original intent and the vocal performance in dubs can vary, you know. I just um, don't prefer some older dubs. That I didn't. I don't like Princess Tutu's dub. I forget exactly why. Yeah, but the point was we were watching it with two friends who preferred to not watch the subtitles, so we had to watch it in English at the time. Um, and oh my God. sorry. When he sits down at his desk and starts writing, he goes, "I'm going to write a letter to the president," and we all collectively lost our minds. It was so out of nowhere. It made absolutely no sense given the context. I don't think it was a group hallucination. It just felt really weird. It was strange and out of place, and I don't believe it's ever brought up again. Like, the episode but just it, ends after that, we were like, okay. <laughs> but it but it was 2 or 3 a.m. I believe a night before an anime convention, nonetheless, so we were pretty loopy. We were, we were pretty whacked out, but I don't know. I, I don't think we imagined it. So I'm gonna have to go back and check. Again, though, it just kills me because it was literally right before the episode even ended. So yeah, it, it was, was just the like, It's like, what? Cut to credits. <laughs> Excuse me. This is the worst possible place for this. By the way, Princess Tutu is very, like, fairy tale esque in its universe and presentation, so the fact that there is even a president to write a letter to is a very bizarre notion. Like, I can't- oh My I god, it just explodes and disappears. Yeah. Why did I never notice that before? There's another one somewhere. Yeah, tonal dissonance. So I'm gonna I'm gonna have to figure out one what episode that's in, two what the original Japanese dialogue is, and three if that instance is repeated in the manga. No, the manga is vastly different. Um I think I told you the ending and the antagonist are actually a little bit different. It's yeah, very you told me. I, I want to reread it, actually. I'd be fascinated to yes. read it someday. Do you know how many volumes it is? I believe it's just three. Oh, wow. I I read it in a manga library while waiting for Kat to come back from a panel when I was a child. Man, anime cons on the brain. Yeah. Well, I mean, I was I was 12, and oh, that's not good. Um, yeah, better to leave your younger sibling in the library than b bring them to an 18-plus panel. I mean, she wasn't going to an 18 plus panel, but it was still the middle of the day and she would know where I was, so. Yeah. I thought you said it was 18 plus. No, it was the middle of the day. The, Do they only do those at night? Yes. Even back when? Yes. I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty yeah, sure they usually they started at like 9, specifically because of it, it's... It makes sense for the youngins. You know, they don't feel like they're missing out on anything because they're going to bed anyway. It's just easier to schedule for a lot of things, too, I would assume. Because, like, if you're trying to figure out, like, panel times, as you said, like, for everyone versus... If there's going to be a, a group-only thing, then might as well have it when... Ooh, this room's really nice. This room is really nice. Was this your room, Sai? This is either Sai's room or that girl's room. Or some third party. Hold on. Okay, so I, I like this obvious. There's a back wall of people looking in the room. Yeah, but literally they just painted over it. I was about to say that when she oh, was shoot. done speaking. Wait a minute. <laughs> you think this might be me? No, it's some other kid in a trench coat. Mm, I don't know. Doesn't really do you justice. I 
wonder if that girl drew it. <laughs> She's not very good. Hey, don't say that. I think it's cute. Yeah, yeah. Whatever you say. Seto's the kind of person that comments on every piece of art he sees with something kind and pleasant to say about it. Seto is Jared 19 who never learned how to read, so he just <laughs> likes images and <laughs> posts smiley faces. Yeah. She was here. Thumbs up emoji. I just know it. Maybe so. But she's not anymore. It's a lot of pills on the table. Hmm. Yeah, we have to find her. Yes, yeah, so this was definitely probably her room. Yeah, but I mean, if Sai didn't have a reaction to it. Sai's time also was not What on to be, earth? To be like decades later. I mean, yeah. decades earlier. That was our little. Oh. Wow, I just didn't even see it. Um. Mm. What are those things spilling out of the boxes? Are they jelly beans? No, uh, no, I, I think they're like, marbles. They're yeah, um, if not marbles, uh, isn't there that game? Jax? No, not Jax. Um, <laughs> you know that, uh, speaking of Jax, what is it called? Jackbox games? No, no. Oh, oh my god, the Clubhouse my- Clubhouse game? Yeah, Clubhouse games, thank you. Um, that came I, know, out. I know what game you're talking about, but I don't know the name of it. It uh, relies on the distribution of those like little bean-shaped so marbles. Sticky. Yeah, I know. So I know what game you're talking about. Okay. There seems like uh, there's way too many for that game, though. So I don't know. I don't know what they are. Oops. The oxygen tank is so big. I hit the wrong button three times in a row. Third time's the charm, babe. I believe in you. Why is it? I just think it's really funny that, like, it's a vertical object and it's making, like, a block jut out of it. Like, I could see if the object was actually shaped like, like I that. Would, I would assume it would just be three blocks that are long. Yeah, it's, like, right? Like, a water bottle or something. Like, I can, um, I can see for the stuff like axes, like, it would make sense for a block to be jutting out at the top, right? Yeah, I mean, that's, that's, what they, that's what they do. That's there's how- axe, There's an axe right here. Yeah, like, you know, but that has, like, no spatial reasoning whatsoever. I'm gonna take this out just to be safe. Like, know. even that makes sense, right? Yeah. Kinda. Oops. This is, this is going great. Can you spin me? Please. Right round. I actually have trouble Baby. listening to that song now specifically because of you. Because that was your ringtone for like four years? Yeah, ish. I mean, that was back in the day when you had to buy ringtones. So, like, aside from the defaults, of course. So it was it was the only 99 cents I was willing to spend. Did I tell you that it went off in class once? Like, I just forgot to mute it one day inexplicably and my teacher was so amused that my at my sense in like, taste of music that he said, nah, you're good. <laughs> Thanks. I mean, I never caused trouble, so... Like, messing up once is... Yeah, I, I can see why he would've let it slide. Was that your homeroom teacher? No, I, no. I think, uh... One of my history teachers, I think it was freshman or sophomore year. There was also this, uh, one instance... Um, in Spanish class where I specifically said, like, at the beginning of class, I raised my hand and said, I'm sorry, I think I forgot to mute my phone. Can I do that really quick? And he was really understanding about it. I mean, it's easier in a case like that where you're willing to just do it as opposed to it accidentally going off. Well, yeah, I and I specified, I don't want you to think I'm texting. I just want to mute it so it doesn't go off in the middle of your lecture. Whereas in college, I would have just whipped it out and done it really quick, because all my college professors were extremely chill. But, you know, high school is very weird about that thing. They... Oh, hold on. Hey! Someone is scribbled out of that. Yeah, or there's just a gaping void. I mean, my friend could be a gaping void. You're not a gaping void. Hello. I hope not. Oh, oh, you still have the cat toy equipped. Oh, yeah. I was like- <laughs> I was like, why are they taking so little damage? Are they- 
Are they like a third type of jelly? No, I was like, why am I hitting so fast? That's weird. <laughs> and I was like, oh, I'm just an idiot. We are all idiot. Oh, oh. Oh, oh, they got me. Oh, they got oh. me. In a loop. They stun locked you. Pack is their jellyfish. Get it? Get it? Mm -hmm. Get it? Cause. Mm -hmm. Get. Yep. Oh. Oh. Ah, oh. uh, that was weird. Uh, you might not have seen it on your end, dear viewer, but our TV just went completely blank. I I thought a cutscene was starting for a moment. Well.